My understanding is that your position is central banks shouldn't actually get involved in tightening conditions too early. Well, I mean, indeed, I think I think central banks should uh, watch uh, and see through temporary uh, inflation movements. I mean, the ECB, uh, not by accident, has a medium term orientation. So what the ECB clearly states is that it wants inflation to be below but close to 2% in the medium term. So medium term means that if you have one uh, months of um, 2% inflation, that, that's not the medium term. So you have to look at the medium term and, of course, uh, analyze very carefully what happens to, to that. And core inflation, which is sort of stripping out uh, temporary price effects from um, uh, oil and, and so on and so forth, I mean, t- uh, core inflation really isn't very high. So, so um, I, I don't think it's, uh, I think it would be premature now to, to tighten um, uh, monetary policy. Mm. Uh, Some of the data has been quite confusing. This morning um, we were having a look at the German retail sales which were totally underwhelming and some of that I guess is down to the state of the German economy as it goes through the vaccination programs and the reopening. But some of it may also suggest that uh, those consumers who have saved through the crisis maybe don't actually want to spend all of their savings. Is there going to be an issue around savings gluts and what will that mean for the shape of the recovery? Well, indeed, there is a lot of uh, savings sitting on bank accounts. Um, and if you look at who has been saving throughout this um, this pandemic, it's been, of course, the top 20, top 50 percent um, income uh, um, households. So it's really quite concentrated in the upper end, I would say mostly in the top 20 uh, percent of income. And, you know, that's that's the one million dollar question is really, you know, will these people uh, start spending um, and, you know, how quickly can they spend? And, you know, one one issue there really is that. Um, a lot of the spending um, that um, the rich, uh, the relatively rich would like to do is still spending that is very service oriented, um, that involves travel, luxury travel, and so on and so forth. And in these areas, um, the restrictions are actually still there. So so my, my overall feeling is it will take a bit of time until this pent up demand um, uh, will unfold. But of course, at some stage, um, when the pandemic really is under control, um, we will see, I think, a rise in demand. Um, but that's still not uh, a persistent rise in inflation. I mean, that will create um, temporary inflation pressures, I would say.